In this course, we're going to go over what it means to be missing frames, different ways that we can go about finding missing frames, and then how do we decide to add frames, um, what are some rules around it, as well as what are some tools that we could use in the 2D LiDAR tool for finding and activating these missing frames. First, whenever we think about missing frames, it's really important that we always annotate objects whenever they're visible. Um, if an object's visible but isn't activated with a keyframe or with an interpolated frame, that's a pretty major error. Um, so, for example, whenever we see any object in the scene that has at least one LiDAR point, we need to make sure to activate it, which means give it a keyframe or make sure that it's covered uh, in between keyframes. Any object that has at least one LiDAR point within the scene needs to be annotated the entire time it's visible, even if it has zero points. So what that means is if we see a car, it has one LiDAR point in frame one, and then in frames 2 through 50, it doesn't have any LiDAR points, but is visible in camera view. We still need to annotate it to the best of our ability. Um, to do this, we could use interpolation, and we could also use camera views to help estimate where the object is. Typically, though, an object will generally have LiDAR points if it's within um, a certain range. The second major rule we need to think about is the 150 meter rule. For the 150 meter rule, we need to annotate the entire path of any object that was within 150 meters of the Ego vehicle. Uh, so that means, for example, if there's a parked car within 150 meters for all 320 frames, that it needs to be annotated for all of those frames. However, if there was a dynamic car that was, say for example, at 149 meters in one frame and drove away for the rest of the frames outside of 150 meters, we still need to annotate it because at one point it was within the 150 meter range. The last part to this is if there is a car that's never within 150 meters, say for example, there's a really far car that's parked on the street, maybe at 200 meters the whole time, we don't have to annotate it because it never was within 150 meters. Now there's a couple of ways that we can go about checking this. And the first one is by looking at the quality assistant if we ever annotate an object that never was within 150 meters, it'll show up on here as a warning. Again, we shouldn't annotate anything that was not within 150 meters at some point. The next part or next way that we could check this is by looking at the side panel here. Um, inside of the coordinates panel on the project view, you're gonna see this one called distance. And this number represents how far away the object is from the ego vehicle in this frame. So if at the closest point or at the furthest point it's within 150 meters and you note this down in the coordinates panel, it needs to be annotated the entire time. Hopefully that makes sense. Continue on with the rest of the course.